Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome none other than Shadow Khan! <laughs> Ask us about TED Talks India and so uh, First of all, why TED Talks? And in the childhood, I don't know how it happened. But it happened that my parents, or teachers, or friends, or the people who are in the house, they all taught me that I wanted to know that I wanted to know that I wanted to know So, my curious George, or the curious cat. I want to know everything. मुझे कोई तकलीफ होती है अगर कोई चीज या कोई शब्द मुझे बोला जाए और मुझे उसका मायने ना आता हो या उसकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ना हो. More often than not, because I'm an actor, when people say something that I don't understand or know about, I just act out that I've understood by behaving like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Lot of words. That Uday speaks just before we did, like eclectic, I still don't understand. But back there, I kept on going, hmm, this is a very eclectic show. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So I, I, I've been doing that all my life. But the only good habit I have is as soon as I find out something I don't know, even before the times of Google, when we used to look for words in the dictionary, or if we were well to do enough, had an encyclopedia at home. I would rush home and try to understand, ask my father, ask my mother, ask my teachers. And the only thing else that I could ask was TED Talks. At that time, TED Talks wasn't available like it is now on the digital medium and now, inshallah, on television very, very soon. But I was a big, big fan of TED Talks. And that's why I always had the answer that I wanted to ask the question. But the things that I was talking about, the people who came to me and the women who came to me and the women who उनसे कुछ ना कुछ मुझे समझने को सीखने को मिलता था। For years I followed TED Talks, especially when uh, the World Wide Web came around, even in the days with that old modem. We've forgotten those days. Now we just click on something and it happens. The world has moved on so much. But the only thing that hasn't changed for me is that I still look forward to hearing a TED Talk, whichever's happening anywhere in the world. When they started a franchise all around the world, TED Talks, X, TEDx, I started following that. And first of all, before I go on to say anything, I want to genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank this wonderful gentleman, Chris Anderson, and this lovely lady, Juliet, for allowing me to be a part of TED Talks recently when they called me over to Vancouver. It is perhaps, if I may say, the most eclectic, intellectual, wonderful gathering that I've ever been in the world and perhaps the greatest achievement of my whole career and actually my whole 52 years of life. So thank you so much, Chris, and thank you, Julia, for calling me there. I was extremely nervous. I didn't know how to speak there, being an actor, professional actor for 30 years, but to go and speak in front of some of the best minds and not the best minds because they have a collection of the greatest of scientists, innovators, inventors, no. The best minds because they have the simplest idea, the smallest idea, and they're willing to share it with the world because I truly believe the world changes by the smallest of ideas. I hear a lot of people who talk about world domination, and taking over and doing this and changing the face. No, I think all changes that take place in the world, in life, anywhere in the universe, I think, is because of a small idea. And I think the bigness of TED Talks lies in the fact that it gives a huge platform to the smallest of ideas. So, for me to be on this platform as a host, as an anchor, I don't even know what we'll call it that once the show comes on air. 
I want to thank the other gentleman who came on stage before me, that is Mr. Ode Shankar. So thank you so much, sir, Kamya, for allowing me to be standing here. And thank you for taking this one big step. In the times when we are trying to take everything on to the digital world, why, pray, are we trying to bring stuff back on television? Is there a step backward? I don't think so. The main essence of that is the language part of it. मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है जो उदय साहब ने भी कहा कि हम लोग कहीं ना कहीं पर हमारी अपनी भाषा अब हमारी भाषा थोड़ी मिक्स हो चुकी है मतलब हिंदुस्तानी सी हो गई है इंग्लिश भी है उसमें हिंदी भी है स्पोकन जो भाषा है वो इजी हो गई है लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं पर हमारी भाषा के अंदर इंटेलेक्चुअलिज्म जो है मैं ये नहीं कहूँगा एक्सेप्टेबल नहीं है मुझे कभी कभी लगता है समझ भी नहीं आता है क्योंकि इतने भारी भक्कम वर्ड होते हैं एक एंटरटेनमेंट चैनल को ये स्टेप लेने के लिए Uh, sorry, Chris and Judith, I'm just saying good things about you when I'm speaking with you. So, I'm still praising you. Okay. So, if I praise you, I'm going to say to you, Juliet, Chris, let's get out of here. See, I didn't say anything good about you, just make them clap. Okay. So, like I was saying, the fact an entertainment channel like Star, they do some wonderful journal entertainment programs and they have all kinds of series and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not saying one of the only ones. Uh, many years ago, I remember Uday Saab met me and he started a program called Satya Mek Jayate. I think that was the step in the right direction. You take issues, you take uh, uh, things that are happening in our country and present it to the country, men and women, so they understand and perhaps come up with solutions for the same. And that's why I think that in the star, TED Talks, India, new thoughts are very important. वो इसलिए कि वो हमारी भाषा में होगी वो एक ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म होगा जहाँ पे हमारे देशवासी हमारे हिंदुस्तानी लोग मर्द और औरतें और जवान लोग अ कंट्री विच पर हैप्स इज द यंगेस्ट एक्चुअली इज द यंगेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड गिव्स यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी अ स्टेज अ प्लेटफॉर्म गिविंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आई यंगस्टर्स टू कम एंड शेयर आइडियाज स्मॉल आइडियाज विच विल चेंज नॉट ओनली आर कंट्री बट होप फुली द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू फॉर द बेटर और आखिरी बात मैं सिर्फ ये कहना चाहूँगा कि मैं इसमें क्या कर रहा हूँ और मैं इसमें क्यों मैं इसलिए हूँ बिकॉज आई डोंट थिंक आई कुड हैव गॉट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी आई बी वर्किंग फॉर थर्टी इयर्स एज एन एक्टर अ मूवी स्टार आई सिंग आई डांस आई फॉल आई फाइट आई रोमांस आई इमोट आई डू एवरी थिंग बट इज वेरी सर्ड आई एम एबल टू शो न्यू डिफाई माई सेल्फ फॉर हु आई एम एंड कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ पीपल ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म एंड से दिस इज हु आई एक्चुअली हैव दिस इज who I am as a father, as a husband, as a friend, as just a normal guy who came from Delhi 30 years ago to make a living in Mumbai and has done rather well for himself. But who am I? I think TED Talks India, nice Soch gives me that platform just to be me. And unashamedly so, happily so, eclectically so, intellectually so, smartly so, happily so, and in every which way possible, perhaps one of the most satisfying, if I may call it, jobs that I've done in my whole career. So thank you, Uday. Thank you, Star. Thank you, everyone in this country to give me this opportunity. One last thing. I have started feeling lately since I've turned 50 that it has become much easier in this world now to hate, to be blatantly aggressive, to put your thought out there because I think so. And it's very nice. Maybe it will bring about a great change in the world. Maybe picking up cuddles, walking down the roads, getting angry with each, each other, having spats, abusing. Maybe that's the way the directness of it all is going to change the world. But I truly believe that in this rush, in this bore, this bhagam door mein, nafrat karne mein, gussa karne mein, hum log pyaar ko bhool gaye. And I genuinely, would like to claim today that I am not just the best lover in the world as I've shown myself in the films, I am love itself. I truly believe in the power of love. And love is nurtured by ideas, small simple ideas, warmth of ideas, goodness of ideas, kindness of ideas, just believing in a simple thing that you want to believe in. And I think TED Talks India, TED Talks itself for years has just been doing that. It has been spreading ideas, simple ideas to the rest of the world. As a matter of fact, unwittingly, unknowingly, this is a platform which will somehow spread love 
when it gives opportunities to people to come and discuss things, then they always believe in, feel for, but have never thought it's good enough to be spread to the world or shared with the world. So I thank you all for being here. When the show comes out, I hope you all like it, because STAR does stand for entertainment too. We're not taking that away from the show. It's a difficult mix. Bahut mushkil hai. Ki entertaining platform bhi bana ke rakhe, usko intellectual bhi rakhe, usko inspiring bhi rakhe, usko khushal bhi rakhe, usko achha bhi rakhe. To humari bahut mehnat gai hai iske andar. Humne bahut koshish ki hai. Aur hume aisa lagta hai ki meri koshish, ya Chris ki koshish, ya Uday sahab ki koshish, ya star team ki koshish ki wajah se nahi. Just because ye thought achha hai. Aap logo ko ye sunna aur janna achha lage ga. Shayad is liye ye entertaining bhi ho ga. So I hope for the best for the program. I thank you for your time. I'm sorry, I think I've spoken longer than I should. But once again, um, God bless you all for being here. Once again, thank you, Chris, for making me a part of this. Thank you, Uday, for making me a part of this and paying me so much money for the IPL franchise too. <laughs> that helps. Some more new shoes and some new cooler clothes. I mean, I have a better car than Uday now, so that's... <laughs> and thank you, Juliet. Thank you, Gaurav. Thank you, everybody. Some of the uh, men and women who have worked hard for this uh, in the production part of it, who are backstage right now. Thank you, Star Plus. Thank you, Star. And thank you all of you for being here. I hope you all have a good evening and a good life and take away some good ideas. And I will take one moment now to call upon the two men who are actually responsible for this. Me, as usual, will take the credit. Uh, when the show comes out, everybody will say, Kya yaar, Shah Rukh ne kya kaam, kya kamal kar diya, yaar, maza ho, yaar, maal hai, yaar. So Shahrukh does that, right? he's beautiful, he's handsome, he's intellectual, he's so sexy. So all the credit I will take away. But the two men and the people behind who have actually made this happen, I'd like to call them back on stage. So the biggest round of applause for Chris and Udisa. Thank you very much. You know, what has been your experience putting this show together? Well, it's been the best. I've made over 200 hours of television in my shorty C's in Diggy. And this has been the best experience of my entire life. Um, you can imagine there's somebody from England living in New York making television. Working in Hindi was a challenge. But the team at Fremantle and the team at Gaurav and Manisha and everybody at Star Plus have made it the best experience of my working life. And I'm so proud of the speakers that we have on the program and of the entertainment value of the program. And when you look at the audience, they are so wrapped, enwrapped on the shows. If there's a talk that's very meaningful, sometimes the audience are in tears, other times they're laughing. It felt like such a deep connection between the people standing in the middle. Tell us what is the format of the show and the audience that you're looking forward for the talks, yeah. Okay, thank you for the question, Sana. Uh, I will leave you with some intrigue. You know what TED Talks are like. So you heard uh, in depth uh, Chris's vision for TED. And that was our starting point. Uh, when, when I met with Chris, when I read his book, he talks about spreading ideas and the power of ideas and that's how essentially civilization started around the campfire telling stories. So we want to capture that. Uh, we hope to capture that. Uh, hopefully, as Shahrukh Sahib was saying, you will find something new in the kind of mix that we are trying to create. That yes, there should be ideas, there should be fun, and we definitely at Star Plus believe that entertainment can be interesting and intelligent. What is the time slot that you're looking forward for? Wait to hear more from us. We'll tell you. Hi, Shahrukh. Hi. Uh, Shahrukh, a small idea can be changed, like you have said. So, has come such an idea in your mind, which you have put up in front of someone, and it has been rejected, but after that, you have done it, and it has successful. Hello, Dharma. This idea was my idea. <laughs> she just asked me, is there an idea that you had and which you presented to people and they rejected it and now it's done well. So I explained to her the internet was my idea. How? 
एंड जनरली बता रहा हूँ मगर छोटे छोटे आइडियाज ऐसे रिजेक्ट तो नहीं हुए लेकिन ऑफकोर्स मैनी अ टाइम्स मुझको ऐसा लगा कि मैंने खोल के लोगों को बताया नहीं You know, many times I've had some ideas. I'm sure all of us have had this on the dais here, and everyone there among amidst you. We always get some good idea, and then we are kind of shy. Sometimes we just keep it to ourselves that people may not like it or not enjoy it or it's not good enough. And then you realize after some years that whatever ideas you had, good, bad, ugly, small, little, black, white, red, green, they all have a place in the sun. All you need to do is express it. And I think uh, that is what TED Talks, Nay Soch, and TED Talks has been doing for years. And I, I think that's the encouragement we want to do. But there have been many a times that I've had ideas. Uh, a lot of times I've given the idea has been accepted and failed visibly. Many times I've had an idea not shared and seen it elsewhere and felt really, really disturbed and stupid. And yes, sometimes I have given an idea that's been accepted and a lot of other people have accepted too in my line of work. मुझसे बताया गया है मुझको कि जो भी टेक्निकल सवाल होगा वो मैं गौरव की तरह पॉइंट तो गौरव तो कुछ 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 होता है है हमने कुछ कुछ रिकॉर्ड किया है और हम बहुत कुछ करना चाहते हैं खान साहब आपके स्ट्रीट देख सकते आलोक होस्ट करना आपके लिए कोई नई बात नहीं है आपने अवार्ड शो होस्ट किए हैं बहुत सारे टीवी शोज भी होस्ट किए हैं जब टेट की बात आई तो आपके जहन में क्या चला और आपको क्या लगा कि भारतीय सिस्टम के हिसाब से आप किस तरीके से इसे होस्ट करने वाले हैं एक्चुअली सबसे जो uh, कम काम है ऐसे शोज में वो होस्ट का होता है और शायद इसलिए ही सबसे ज्यादा अहम काम भी हो जाता है uh, मैं मूवी स्टार हूँ लाइक यू सेट मैंने बहुत सारे प्रोग्राम्स होस्ट किए हैं देर the dancing shows i've done uh, i think all my shows with the star before this whether it's pachri pass whether it's uh, even kbc for that matter uh, i need to bring in uh, loads of entertainment which is a part of my profession onto the stage so people don't get disappointed because i don't do the things that i'm supposed to do but i think tech talks uh, is i won't say difficult but extremely uh, positively creatively challenging लाइक आई सेड कि मुझको अपने आप को पेश करना है मेरी जो अपनी जिज्ञासा है मेरा जो अपना दिल में है कि मैं क्या चीज़ को कैसे समझूँ लाइक जूलियट सेड वेल आई टॉकिंग टू द पीपल दे वुड गिव मी क्वेश्चन बट लिसनिंग टू द टॉक आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क दम समथिंग एल्स विच बट यू मैन आई एंड एवरीबडी वॉचिंग इट एट होम ऑफ टेलीविजन वन इट गेट्स ट्रांसमिटेड एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू आस्क सो जस्ट टू बी ऑन योर टोर्स एक्चुअली दिस इज अ शो विच इज विच हैज केप मी मोर अलाइव ईच शो यूज टू टेक सम टाइम टू शूट Say a couple of hours, but for those two hours, not once would I relent or take recourse to coming and dancing instead. I was here, I was listening, and I wanted to participate in the experiences of their life. And I think hopefully that will come through when I'm hosting it. So I'm not going to be pompous and say oh, I hosted X, Y, Z. I just hope I'm able to enhance the ideas, the thoughts, the talks that people have there uh, on this show and become part of it. I think that's the new thing for me and. Uh, Creatively challenging and personally very satisfying. हाँ सब खबर ये भी है कि आप टेट बुक के बाद बुक के बुक में भी लिखने वाले हैं टेट की जो किताब है उसके लिए आपको लिखने की शुरुआत तो आपने कर दी है कुछ thoughts हैं किस तरीके से? No, I haven't. I think Juliet and Chris have been uh, more than gracious uh, in every which way as far as TED Talks is concerned. And uh, yes. I'm, I, 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 it, it's a very proud moment for me when they requested me to do this or asked me if I could do it. Uh, but I haven't started working on it yet. I'm, I'm going to work on it. I even for my speech, which I gave at TED Talks, uh, uh, Chris and Juliet were very hands-on, helping me all over the emails again and again and telling me what is right, what is wrong, how I should say it. Uh, even on stage, I joked about it, but sincerely, so they were very, very helpful and uh, extremely encouraging. So hopefully when I get down to writing, I'll uh, more than my time. I have to take their time, and as always, just take the credit afterwards. Now, the Videsh ke format se kitna alag hone wala hai? Because humne Sangeet bhi suna dekha, so thoda agar zikr kare yaar. This is the first time TED Talks is going to be on television anywhere in the world. Ye kahin kabhi bhi nahi aaya hai. So obviously, koi given format nahi hai. 
there is no format that is existing on television of TED Talks. Um, <coughs> you should all, I would request everyone and implore everyone to please, if you haven't seen TED Talks, please do go on the net, go to tedtalks.com, watch it, and you'll understand. It's about uh, talking and sharing ideas with people. And of course, for television, Star being so innovative, God of Steam being so innovative, some new thoughts have come, but retaining, absolutely retaining the authentic quality of TED Talks and the intellect and the goodness of it, uh, so that it doesn't waver from what TED Talks has created itself and when Uday has taken it onto the television. So there is no taking away from the program, retain the same qualities and somehow uh, add some new thing to it. Uh, which will be very sad. I think very much. Thank you 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 very much. So, anything you want to add to us? Um, I, 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 top of the head, I can talk just uh, related to my work, honestly. Uh, I have some ideas which I have uh, uh, stuck in my head for the last four or five years about the kind of film that I would like to produce uh, next. But, I've still not been able to do it. Personal regards as a person, as a personality, in you as self, anything somebody said to you that got a change in you? One of the ideas is to start shooting ships later, <laughs> which I'm still trying to promote. Even though it's not legal, but I'm still coming late and making sure that one day they will change it. But uh, yeah, in a personal level, there are a lot of ideas. Maybe one day we sit down and chat over a cup of coffee or tea and discuss them. No, I, I'm, I'm full of ideas. I'm actually, I'm, yeah, the idea or the coffee? Okay, we can do the ideas later, yeah. Hello, sir. Uday, sir. Uh, Uday, sir. I'm this side. From so, I'm Nazia from Exchange. You very right when you said uh, very few people are interested in having and becoming one with something uh, psychological intense uh, as dead, uh, dead talks. So what is the audience that we are looking at? Sorry? I, I, you were very right when you said that people are not really looking forward to something very intellectual and uh, psychological especially when it goes beyond the level of understanding. So with TED Talks being something very intense, psychological and intellectual, what kind of audience are we looking at? I think uh, two things I'll say Sandeep. One, I truly believe as a person who's part of media like you guys are, girls are, I think it's not, it's always, uh, we underrate uh, our audience always. I think we always start, this is an excuse. I think this is uh, unreasonable to say people are not ready to accept. People are ready to accept. If you put it out in the right spirit, anything that is good, intellectual, entertaining, scientific, any kind of knowledge, garb in whichever method you want to. That's what I think uh, every audience wants. I, I didn't mean to say sorry if it was misunderstood, people are not ready. I meant that perhaps we have, as media people, as thinkers, as innovators, not done enough to bring forth to the audience what they are waiting for. So I think all kind of audience, especially the youngsters, will really like what we've tried to put up in TED Talks, India Nice Search. Um, and <coughs> the, uh, the second part of it is, uh, you know, when, when, when we talk about um, intense hai, psychological hai. Actually our lives are like that. Our lives are psychological. Of course. Our lives are intense. Our lives are entertaining. Our lives are knowledgeable. And sometimes the opposite. So there's always a craving in all our hearts. All we need is someone to give it to us. So hopefully we'll be able to manage that. And I think whatever little I understand of a show like this, because I've watched it for years, I think we will manage to uh, fulfill the craving of a lot of people for a program like this. And just one more question to you. Uh, given a choice, would you, I mean, given a chance, would you uh, host a program like uh, Big Boss? Uh, I've done a lot of hosting here. I mean, there's no question of uh, uh, being host of X or Y or Z. I think all programs that all movie stars are hosting, uh, they have some interesting thing to say. I've done lots of them myself. Um, but uh, I've never been really been approached for a show of that nature yet. So I don't know. If I'm free, uh, then I'm willing. And uh, if the money is good. Um, having said that, for TED Talks, I've not charged like 
all the other anchors are charging for the shoes. <laughs> this one is from the heart. <laughs> I just want to ship in. I just want to ship in one one thing um, into what you said. You, you referred to Ted as um, intellectual content. That's really not how we think of it. The mission of Ted is to make ideas accessible, and I, I really think the way we think of it is that we are trying to go to what is the core human superpower. That what distinguishes us from other species on the planet is that we have this ability to picture the world in a different way than it is right now and to share those pictures with each other by telling stories. You, a speaker, can learn to make even difficult ideas vivid and exciting. That's, that's the challenge and that's the challenge we've set ourselves. So I don't think you should think of this as intellectual content. I, th I think you should think of it as powerful content, mind content, inspiring content. Hello. 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 Thank you. Hi, Sharu. Thank you. Sana from Indian Express here. When we are talking about ideas recently at the launch of Big Boss, when we asked Sh uh, Salman that it would be a tough competition uh, between you, Akshay, and Salman being on TV at the same time, he said that it would be a tough competition for you guys. So what is your idea on his idea? that it will be a tough competition for you and Akshay? Uh, I, to be really honest, uh, uh, Salman and Akshay, what they're doing, they're in a league of their own. I'm not even competing with them right now. So, they're doing wonderfully well. Uh, and I think it's uh, sweet of Salman to say what he said. And it's really wonderful. Having said that, I'm not going to say that this show is so different that we're not competing on the platform. In no way do I want to be derisive of entertainment that they will provide on television through the respective shows they're doing. Uh, but I think this really is a kind of a different platform uh, where it has a different sensibility. Uh, it's a new thing. You know, I'm not saying there's a zone has been done, been there, done that. I think it's wonderful what they're doing. Uh, I know Salman's doing Big, big Boss and uh, Akshay is doing uh, yeah, uh, I, I think this show is a little different from them. It does not make it better or worse, it's just different. Uh, so, uh, I think this will be running in a lane of its own, uh, not competing with anyone. And I'll, I'll just like to make this clear because, uh, you know, when we talk about intellectualism and we talk about it being, it genuinely is an extremely hopeful and inspiring show. Uh, it will have entertainment. It's not plugged in as trying to get an X amount of rating or 20 amount of audience. It genuinely is sharing a great idea. So it does have its own lane that it's run. It will be, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to compete with ourselves. And uh, what TED Talks has created over the years, what Star has done, what Gaurav has done, what everybody in this media has done before, hopefully we'll be able to just compete with ourselves and do our best. I think in this case, this show, we're just trying to compete with ourselves to give our best to us first and then hopefully it will transform into uh, transcend to all of them. Salman, one last question. Salman, one last question this side. One last question, Salman, this side. Shai, sorry, 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 Shai, this side. Because you were talking about Salman. I'm extremely sorry, but what's your time constraint? I don't know, where are you speaking from? Shai, this side. Yes, I'm literally sorry because, yeah. Lipika here. I'm literally sorry. Don't worry, Lipika, it's all right. Lipika. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lipika. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, you said this one is from the heart. So, do you mean to say that money does not keep you going anymore? No, it never has. It never will. And uh, I never ever in my life. Uh, I'm very well to do. I think. Uh, God has been very kind to me in every aspect of my life, professionally, economically, financially, and more than that, emotionally. But never ever have I done anything for the love of money. Uh, money, I, I'll say this to every youngsters who are hearing this, if you do something that you really desire and want to do, one of the things that will surely follow is money. It's the least important of the pegs that you should try to fill in when you're trying to do something as work, as a job, as love, as hobby, money will always follow. Money is not going to be a problem at the end of it all. And I say it from the point of view of being a lower middle class boy who's had much more 
share of his uh, financial benefits from the work I do than I ever imagined, dreamed of in the wildest of dreams. No, I have never done anything. And however people may believe I'm an entrepreneur, I do businesses, X, Y, C, I've never done anything for the liking or love of money. I do this because I love doing it. And this show, Dead Talks India, Nine Soch, One Star, is perhaps the closest thing to my heart. And I'm not saying it because Uday is a friend and Chris and Juliet have been nice and Gaurav is a friend. I say it because I genuinely believe it. And I hope uh, how much I love this, everybody else also loves it. It's important for me that this gets loved by everyone. Without any competition, without trying to compare, without any comparison to what uh, the great star and Uday Sahib have already achieved for No, it should just stand up apart from film industry, if you are a big fan of films, when you are big, you are inspired by your life, you feel like you want to become like them. You always stay like them. You don't like them. Milka Singh, Cassius Clay, Mohamed Ali, Mother Teresa, you can't be like them. But I'm very inspired by their stories. I'm also reading them. And there are some names that I forgot on top of the head. But these three or four people in my mind, P.T. Usha, when I was big, our Indian hockey team, in that time and in today's time, I feel very inspiring. And it's not just because I've done it. I've done it in the national sport. I've done it in a lot of people who have been in the national sport. So there are many such people who have been studying and listening I want to become that way. Because their lives are very simple and small. They are big and big. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. To shift the focus to watching it on television. I think more than the pressure, I think just a please, I think even though we have made it ourselves, I think the appreciation should be for the part that is in Hindi. I think that itself is a very, very big boon here. Because I do understand it that you know accessing something in a language which perhaps everybody is not so well versed with and including the dialect and accent sometimes we all have to still put on at least I have to put on subtitles of English films today you know sometimes you don't get the, uh, the feeling because the language is uh, new to you or not so you're not so well versed with it I think bringing it on Hindi the spoken Hindi uh, Urdu, Hindi, Hindustani just like we talk about Angrezi I think that itself uh, more than it being challenging or wanting to be different, I think there's the accessibility to a lot of people on television. Uh, and, and let me be honest, internet is fantastic. I think the digital world is growing. But television, uh, especially Star and the Hindi speaking programs on it, do reach a much larger audience in our country specifically. And to make that attempt on a general entertainment uh, programming channel and put it out there, I think that's, that's a very big step. Uh, for a program like this. So I think uh, it will just have a lot of people. Our, our, our desire is, honestly, to get the people who haven't seen TED Talks, see it here, then go to tedtalks.com, uh, hear those talks also. Some of our talks may be present there too. But what I want is, I'm going to request Chris and Juliet to even uh, subtitle those in Hindi and try to dub them in Hindi. I can do some of the dubbing for them. You know, it will be very good for, uh, I think, the people all across our country. Thank you.